Hello, and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. Wow, incredible. I review books. Of course I do. It's a, it, it, it reads in the name. But what book am I reviewing today? Is it a Fear Street? A Christopher Pike? A Nightmare Hole? A Point Horror? An Avon Flare? It's not an Avon Flare. I have not read it for a single Avon Flare. Avon Flare is just gonna be bullied on this channel. Well, today, I'm going to be reviewing the famous Christopher Pike book, Fall Into Darkness. Why not? Well, of course it's famous. It got a movie. Definitely everyone's seen the movie. I did not know the movie existed when I read this book. Yeah, when I, I found this book at Half Price Books for $1.99, never heard of it before. I was just really excited because it's Christopher Pike. And I like Christopher Pike because Christopher Pike is awesome. So I was really excited to get into it. I had no idea what it was about. I was tempting to ask someone on Instagram what it if it was good or not. So I decided to dive into this book. It's around 200 pages. It is not that long. It did take me a while to read. It took me about a week just because... Well, a week or three days. I don't remember. It's been like a month. It took me a while because I was in a reading slump. And reading slump suck. But we went to... But my family went to this city to go see the famous comedian David Cross. It was a long car ride. So in the car ride, I got to read a lot. I actually ended up finishing the book in the car ride. I read about, I would say 60 pages, like on the way there. And then I read Mirror, Mirror on the way back, which is, I'll make a, I'll make a video about that. That book is really good. So what is this book about? It is about this character named Sharon, who gets accused of the murder of Anne Rice. First of all, I did not know if Christopher Pike named and named the character Anne Rice after the author Anne Rice, who I have not read a single book by, but I want to. So I thought that was pretty funny that her name was Anne Rice. But so Sharon gets accused of, Anne, of the murder of Anne Rice. And there's three witnesses. There's Chris, who, there's Chris, Paul, and then Sharon's boyfriend with the forgettable name who is also there. Um, Paul is actually Anne's boyfriend. So, so fun fact. And the book is like dual perspective somewhat. It takes place in the courtroom and also it tells the actual story of what happened. So I was reading this book going along and being like, ooh, this is a, this is a pretty okay book. And like the courtroom scenes advanced and got better and better. Then the court stuff ended or like halfway through the book, like, I would say, like, around page 100, it just end. the court ends. Will not say what happens in the court. So we have the whole rest of the story. And I gotta say, this story is bonkers. It is outlandish. And this is not a spoiler, because it literally happens in chapter 2. But it turns out that Anne faked her own death by, jump by having a bungee cord and jumping off the cliff that way. Which is just really crazy. And this has one of, like, my favorite quotes in a book ever. And, and Paul is, like, talking with Anne. He's on, the, he's, in, he's on the whole thing, like, in with her. And he's like, why won't you just kill her? Why won't you just kill Sharon? And Anne just cuts him off and says, because I want her to suffer. Which, which I really like that, that scene. But, yeah. Uh, so the book is very weird and crazy. I, I, I ended up go just falling along with it. I followed along with it in too deep which i think is the craziest book i've ever read so, so i went along with it it just kept it was like not it, it like the part i just told you grounds here it goes up from there it, it's like a whole mountain it's about everest of going just all just going way out there and it is very sad i would say christopher pike he always writes about a friend group that splits apart because of some murderous thing, like one of the friends and the thing is like one of the friends is a murder or like like this happened in Di in die softly. It was about this whole friend group, this well somewhat friend group they weren't mostly friends. It was about like this group of kids who are at school and they like stuff goes down. That's all I'll say about that. What one second. Okay, that so I would say that I would definitely recommend Fall Into Darkness. Duh, it's Christopher Pike, it's amazing, it's great. When I first, I had 
funny thing, when I finished this book, I did not like it. I gave it a two-star rating just because I did not go along for it. But then I kept on thinking about it more and more. I can't get out of my head. And I, and I would rate four stars now. Very funny. I, I was reading it. I was like, hmm. And I, ha and I checked the little publishing thing because it says if it's like ghost written, like in a nightmare hole, it says if it's written by D.E. Yakin, Small Thacker. So I, sh I had to check to see if it was Christopher Pike's writing because I was like, what? This, this is so weird. I've never read anything like this by Pike. Granted, this is only my third Pike book, so. So uh, I would definitely recommend this book. I, would, I gave it four stars. It's great. It's it's actually amazing. The, this cover is also really good. Like, draw me in like that. Draw It draws your eye and then you see it's Christopher Pike. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I have to buy this now. So it's definitely a great read. I won't say any more about it. All the characters are good, are great. It's in classic teen fashion. Everyone's horny as crap. Mainly our main character Sharon is horny. <laughs> I've not read, but I have not watched the movie yet. I know it's on YouTube. You, it's crazy. We're both on YouTube, but <laughs> so it's on YouTube. I'm probably gonna watch it soon. I heard it's terrible. So I'm all for it, but I saw that one scene of Anne saying that she has to suffer, and it gave me chills, because that's my favorite part of the book. I was at the beginning, too, which means nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. So go buy this right now. It's only, like, I think a few bucks on eBay, which is nothing. It's, like, probably four bucks. So, yeah, I would definitely rate this five, four stars, maybe, for five. See ya.